So as many of you know, over the last week, I was in Los Angeles attending E3 on behalf of Ubisoft as a star player. During this time, I was given many hours of gameplay time with Ghost Recon Breakpoint alongside some of the most incredible devs behind Breakpoint. In today's video, I'll be going over some of the many questions you guys have been asking me as well as touching up on some of the major concerns many of you have. So like always, let's waste no more time and let's get right into the video. One of the biggest concerns many people have in my comments is the strong RPG elements it seems Ubisoft has taken with Breakpoint. Right off the bat, I want to make it very clear that in no way does the game feel any different than Wildlands. Shooting any enemy in the head will result in an instant death rather than just inflicting a small amount of damage to its health bar. This goes for both the PMCs and for the wolves. Now with that being said, drones are a completely different story. While flying drones are fairly easy to take down, vehicle drones on the other hand are far more difficult and can pose a very serious threat. Of course, once you've started to understand that each drone has their own weak point, they become easier over time but at first I can see a lot of people complaining about their extremely accurate performance and lethal attacks. During all of my playthroughs, I was playing with fellow ghosts, which some of you may or may not know them. I was playing with Catenator, I was playing with Psycho, RTC Craig, which is real-time commanders, as well as Fox Zero. But the vast majority of my time I spent it playing with Fox Zero, which for those of you that aren't aware on who he is, he mainly focuses on no HUD and milsim content over on his channel, which I will have a link in the description so you guys can go and check it out. So I want to make it very clear, in no way was I at any point playing with any rookies, but at one point we did run into something extremely challenging to where we almost all wiped. That being something all of you were just recently told about, and that is the Behemoth drones. This bad boy was no joke, but overall a great experience, just like the vehicle drones that I mentioned earlier these also have weak spots which will make the fight much easier but will still be very much challenging aside from all of that not much else can be said about the drones other than make sure you find those weak spots the moment you start your encounter one last thing that i will mention about the bullet sponge enemies is the fact that yes if you decide to spray at the wolves rather than strategically aiming for their heads they will take limited amounts of damage and will make the process much harder during our first run through saving madera which is the same mission that was shown during the initial game play reveal we struggled a bit with the wolves mainly because we were going for a mixture of body shots and headshots which we quickly learned was not the way to go with them considering they walk around in full body suits now as for the second playthrough fox zero and myself we went straight for headshots which made the process beyond easier and smoother but of course in no way do i want you guys to think that the pmcs and the wolves there is no noticeable difference you can see in the way that they perform now moving into the next thing that i want to touch up on is prone camo although this feature may seem like a completely overhyped and useless feature, it actually will save your life far more times than you can even imagine. During my playthrough, we were attacked by predator drones which fly at extremely high altitudes and can't be shot at unless you're playing as a sniper class. Getting spotted by these drones will bring all hell down on you from angry drones that inflict insane amounts of damage and wolves searching the area looking to eliminate you. At one point, I was unfortunately spotted and I can just say that it was a very bad experience for me considering everybody was kind of far away from me but very quickly we learned that once that drone alert warning pops up you will quickly need to hit the prone camo and hold your position till the predator drone has cleared over you uh, this of course being the safest route to take now these are only just a few of the questions and concerns i've been seeing now for weeks here on the channel that i really wanted to get out of the way to put some minds at ease a lot of the questions i received were regarding character customization and paywall items which is not something that they really were ready to show just yet but i can say this much in regards to the tiered loot system it is nothing at all what everyone thinks it's going to be the system is set up to keep the game feeling just like a ghost recon game and nothing at all like an rpg game a few days before i went to e3 i told you guys to leave me a couple of questions and there was about 150 comments on that post and like i said before a lot of them were just talking about weapon customization and character customization and stuff like that stuff that they just weren't talking about at the time at the time we were really just looking at the gameplay mechanics as well as how the game looks and feels overall making this video was extremely important to me because like i said for the last few weeks all i've been seeing in my comments is people complaining about bullet sponge rpg mechanics as well as the tier loot system of course i hadn't give my opinion at that very moment because i didn't play the game enough at the time and i didn't really want to butt into something that i didn't really know about but with going to E3, I can say that I put easily about three to four hours into the game. And that's a mixture between me kind of just messing around as well as me playing the orchestrated demo that they had for us. And I'm extremely confident when I tell you that the game feels just like Ghost Recon Wildlands. And before you start writing the comment, which I know some of you are heading right now to type in the comment, oh, you know, you're getting paid by Ubisoft, all this crazy stuff. 
I am in no way getting paid by Ubisoft to say this, and I am in no way having to send them this video for them to approve it or anything of that sort, nor am I recording this at E3 or in LA right now. I am currently home, sitting in my room, giving you guys the absolute unbiased opinion about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Of course, do not get me wrong, I am very happy and I am very fortunate that I was chosen as a star player to go to E3 on behalf of Ubisoft, but at the same time, I know that a lot of you do rely on me for solid information and basically the truth. But anyways, with all of that being said, I'm going to show you guys right now in the background a quick little clip of a recording that I did of the actual E3 booth. Since I know that a lot of you weren't fortunate enough to actually make your way to E3, I figured this would be pretty cool so you guys can check out how much detail they actually put into the Breakpoint booth. It's an extremely short and fast clip, so it's probably already done playing in the background. And if you guys head on over to my community tab, I actually posted up a picture of myself, Psycho, and Catenator playing the E3 demo. So anyways, hopefully you guys found this video informative and I will have a lot more Breakpoint videos in the days to come. Currently, I'm recovering from being sick as the weather change in LA really got the best of me and I only just recently got my voice back. But I will most definitely have a lot more videos up for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of Breakpoint and Wildlands content. Really quickly, I want to say thank you guys for honestly always showing support to the channel and for allowing me to even go to E3 if it wasn't for you guys and you guys always tuning into my videos and always showing love i wouldn't have gotten this opportunity so thank you guys seriously it means the absolute world to me but anyways that's pretty much going to do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one